Hi, I'm Louisa Hamachek from NIP Northwest, Nuke Info Project Northwest, and uh, I'm concerned about the CGS, the Columbia Generating Station. It's an old nuclear power plant that is still operating in the Northwest. It's the last commercial nuclear power plant. It's up at where they made the bombs at Hanford um, in Richland, Washington. And recent seismic studies with modern equipment has discovered that there's a fault line underneath the area a few miles, three miles from the operating nuclear, old nuclear power plant is a deep down fault line. And Physicians for Social Responsibility paid for a geologist engineer from Kennewick, Washington to do the study of the uh, application for the license to be renewed to operate this nuclear power plant and discovered that they had not put in this major fault line that most people generally know about it and they didn't put it into most people in that area um, they didn't put it into their application they were hiding the fact and um, then he analyzed the engineering of the building the structure of this uh, old gonna be 40 year old nuclear power plant and found that they were not up to snuff. It would not withstand the shake of what that earthquake would be that would result from a shift of the ground deep down at this fault line. So the power plant will do a Fukushima-like thing when and if an earthquake happens. There's earthquakes there at least every month that are small, about 2 to 3.5 to 4 maybe. But um, almost every month you'll find that there's an earthquake in that area. One of those could be the big one. Now the Columbia, the Cascadia subduction earthquake is shoving the Pacific plate into underneath the continental plate and that is going to be on the coast all the way from Arcata, California up to Bellingham, Washington. That's going to be a 9.2, bigger than Fukushima's one and it's at the coast which is good for Hanford but we don't really know and it's going to take out 50% of the buildings, even inland. It's going to take out all of the buildings and the people at the coast with a tsunami 15 minutes after the earthquake happens. It's going to be so big that nothing has happened in civilized time that's that big, and it's in the northwest, and it's 100 years overdue. We don't really know, and every year with the new equipment, we're finding out a new seismic facts, and we don't really know if it's going to be triggering the melting of its tip end underground 100 miles inland uh, that's how Mount St. Helens and all the Cascades have come up in almost recent times. Mount St. Helens in the 80s blew its top because the tip end of that Pacific Ocean plate is melting and it shoots up. Well, right on the other side of Mount St. Helens is the Columbia Basin. It goes Mount St. Helens and then Mount Adams and that sloops down to Yakima and the Columbia Basin and the Hanford Nuclear Power Plant, uh, the Columbia Generating Station. Now how much of that is going to travel that far in? Will it be uh, made anyways? June 25th, Thursday, we're having um, the speaker from Physicians for Social Responsibility, the organization that um, discovered this and, and paid for the uh, engineer, geologist, to uh, give the facts on this. So their uh, speaker, Chuck Johnson, is coming from Portland to speak in Eugene at the uh, county building. We're having Harris Hall because it's a county issue. This, If that blows like Fukushima, we know that the uh, meltdown created an uh, explosion of the containment building of a few meltdowns and the waste also got uh, knocked together. Nuclear waste had its own meltdown. Uh, this stuff of course went into the ocean and we're concerned about that. But what we're concerned about for people, residents of Lane County, and residents of the whole Northwest and then the whole Northern Hemisphere, North America and the whole Northern Hemisphere, is uh, that dust going into the air from a meltdown. And this would happen if the earthquake happens, um, according to this study by PSR. And then, um, depending on which way the wind's blowing, within an hour it could hit Spokane, the city, with that dust, which would be 250,000 souls that would get dumped on. Um, the kids in Fukushima, shortly after it, had nosebleeds. Then they got no, uh, very low red blood cell, very low white blood cell. Um, then they're getting leuke leukemia. The kids uh, around Chernobyl, leukemia, uh, and the teenagers and the kids, a higher rate of leukemia than by far. And that news is being kept from the people of America. 75%.
So uh, we need to uh, shut it down safely before, uh, with all the equipment and the knowledge we have of shutting down nuclear power plants without an earthquake happening. We need to do that and we need to get the citizens of the Columbia Basin to demand that. Pendleton, Hermiston, uh, Coeur d'Alene, all these cities are, are dangerously Ellensburg. They're dangerously um, within an hour of demise if the wind is blowing their way from Hanford. So uh, come to our talk and tell your Congress, federal congressman, congressperson to shut down that nuke as soon as possible today, tomorrow, begin the process of turning it off. It only makes two to three percent of the electricity. Why is it still running? It's something to do with the Department of Energy who is really making bombs instead of making solar energy out of that property. Um, and so without knowing that, all we need to know is uh, that it is running and it should not be running when it's causing, it's not worth the risk. It is also, isn't it also 15 miles away from Hanford? Well, it is at Hanford. Right, but I mean it's 15 miles away, which means if it had a meltdown, nobody could manage those spent fuel pools at Hanford. That's one of the catastrophic risks of the CGES because yeah. Nobody, all, that stuff at Hanford still needs to be cooled down 24 hours a day. Well, they send in all kinds of workers into Fukushima in that distance, and there, you know, what happened to them? We don't know, but there's people who will do it for a high price of money. There's always people who will do it. Who are well, poor. in Fukushima, they were actually getting the homeless people from Tokyo. Yeah, and that's what they're going to do. And they're going to get the Mexicans, and they're going to get the um, desperate people, who people don't know. let them out of jail, yeah. all that kind of thing. There's always somebody who will do it. Well, bottom line is, you're right, Lou, it needs to be shut down immediately, yeah. like yesterday. So people need to call, and please come to this event at Harris Hall on what day? Okay, it's Thursday evening at 6.30 of July, June 25th. Okay. It's three weeks from now or so. And June 25th, and Harris Hall is at uh, where the Saturday market uh, happens in Eugene. It's uh, the Lane County building is 125 East. Eighth and Oak. Yeah, Eighth and Oak. Right. Okay, thank you, Louisa. Yeah. Appreciate your great activism. Everybody keep with it and tell your senators. and Yeah, don't give up. We have to keep pushing hard, you guys. Yeah, stay awake. Okay, ciao. <laughs>